So let me move towards the programming environment. So while going towards the programming environment, let me start here the VS Code environment. So here in VS Code environment, the first thing here will be as I have started here, the first thing there was basically the count, and initially the count is assigned the value zero. And similarly, but the basket here is also empty. And as I have previously told you that the basket will also be given this empty uh, square bracket. Okay. So after writing it, what I have to do, I have to write the loop here. Okay. You can also do here one thing as well. You can also run it separately like this one. Okay, once after writing it, you can write other statements in the other cell, the second cell here, or you can write them here as well. It is up to you guys, whatever you want to do. Okay, so let me write it here. So here I can write the while statement, and in while statement, I have to see whether the count is equal to 6 or not. If it is not equal to 6, okay, again a colon here. If it is not equal to 6, what will happen? I have to put an apple inside the basket. So, basket dot append is the method. Okay, you can also see here that is also the method here. Or, what I have to do, I have to put an apple inside the basket. So, by using this statement, you will put the apple inside the basket. And what is the basket? Basket is basically a list which is already defined. So, list is the basket and you are putting something inside of it. And what is basically the list? Uh, list is basically the uh, combination of different or same number of items. Okay. So, after what would you do? You will do count equal to count plus one. Okay. So, that is the statement here. Okay. Similarly, uh, you can also use this statement as well, but uh, despite using this one, you can also use another statement. Okay, and what is that statement? Sorry, and what is that statement? You can also write count plus equal to 1. It is also equivalent to this statement. Okay, but uh, here you can see that I have made it. Uh, shortened by using the one count variable here okay so what is basically this hash you can very easily see that by putting hash here the color of uh, this statement has been changed so this hash comment sign here and you can comment out any statement here just by putting the hash here okay so when hash is put it here uh, it will be commented okay so uh, that is the uh, comment statement Similarly, after uh, writing it, what I have to do, it will do it unless and until the count is equal to 6. So, when it will be ended, what what should I have to do? I have to print the uh, value of count. Okay, that is a very easy statement there. So, let me run it. Okay, so I can very easily see that the value of the apple will be 6. Similarly, what will be inside the basket? So, let me print the basket here as well. So, printing the basket here, I can very easily see that it will be composed of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 6 number of apples. So, these are the number of apples here. Okay. So, uh, that is the statement, but just writing 6 is not sufficient here. Uh, in writing the programs and writing the statements, full statements here, it requires some uh, very fancy terms here, just like I should have to write that the number of apples inside the basket are uh, 6. Okay, uh, so uh, whatever happens, it will give me 6. This is uh, 1 method here similarly i can write here plus as well so because this is the uh, combination of characters here and that is the string and by adding it means i have to add another same data type with it so i can write here the count but count is something which is the integer 
So when I will add it uh, with this uh, string, it will give me the error just like you can see just there. Okay. So uh, it is saying that in this uh, line number four, you have a count and this should be string not int. So what I have to do, I have to convert this int inside into the string. So writing str, just str will serve this process. Okay, so now you can see that it will happen here similarly. So it can also be written like this one. Another very important uh, method here, uh, which I can use very easily here, that just writing f at the start of any uh, statement here and just uh, wherever you want to write the integer here you just have to put these curly braces here and they uh, write integer there and then running it will give you the combination of all these elements. Okay. so that is basically the uh, number of elements inside the basket okay number of apples inside the bucket basket that is equal to six similarly in order to count the number of elements inside the basket, what I have to do, there is another method which is called length. Okay, so it will give you the length of the list. So, in writing it like length and writing the name of the list, what it will give you, it will give you 6 because it is the length of the uh, basket. Okay, so length of the basket or length of legs uh, here is 6. Similarly, in order to show the type of any uh, data type which I have been using here, so writing type basket, what it will give me, it will give me that it is list. Similarly, what is count here? Okay, count is the uh, integer here. Similarly, when I want to write it like the string okay now the type of it will be the string okay uh, so that's it for today in which we have seen very important concepts and uh, those concepts are basically related to to the list and uh, adding elements inside the list inequality operators and the while loop as well, okay in these uh, all scenarios i have also used different modules as well and uh, also we have seen that wherever these can be used and where these are applicable so in the next lecture i will use the for loop and see the functionalities of for loop for different scenarios till then take care of yourself and i will see you soon